Hey there my friends, Eric Andres, your guitar sage here. I'm very excited to have the Shure GLXD wireless system today with me. This right here is the transmitter. This goes right on your guitar strap like that. Plugs into your guitar and now you're wireless up to 200 feet. We're gonna take a look at the transmitter. We're gonna take a look at the receiver which is a pedal based unit. And uh, I've had a few days to plug this thing in, walk around the house, walk out in the street and what have you to see how loud actually my neighbors are hearing my guitars all the time. So that was helpful. Um, this is a great unit. I really love this. I grew up with different types of wireless units and this one is exceptional. So I want you to uh, stay tuned here, take a look. We're going to be looking at the, the transmitter and the receiver and all the specifics and what I like about this so much. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm very excited to be reviewing the Shure GLXD digital wireless guitar pedal system. I've had a lot of Shure products over the years and they've all been top notch. And so um, I'm very excited to see what's, what's in the box. Um, this system is based off of a, uh, a pedal, which is pretty unique in that most wireless systems are rack mounted and that sort of thing. This is great because you can put this straight into your pedal board. So you can see that the uh, receiver looks just like a stomp box that you would put uh, in your pedal board. This is the uh, transmitter. This is of course is your receiver and you're gonna have your uh, your cable, it looks like it's going to plug in right, right in here. Pretty simple. There's definitely a specific way to put it in there. And this is, this is going to be your USB. I'm sorry, not your USB. This is going to be your quarter inch cable. So, okay. So it looks like it's just these two pieces and um, we have a power supply and a USB uh, power here so uh, I suppose you could you could uh, charge your transmitter straight from your computer as well so uh, let's see open this guy up it has a rechargeable battery all right let's um Let's plug this baby up, because I'm excited. Oh, there we go, there's our, our USB, and then our link button, um, and our clip. So, all right, let's get this baby going. Okay, so now let's take a look at the transmitter for the Shure GLXD. So, as I've said, I've had wireless units before, and the housing unit on this transmitter is really nice. It's very robust, um, it feels like you know, maybe a gun metal. If, it's, if it is plastic, it's a very, very hard plastic, and it's got a little bit of weight to it, so you know that it's, uh, that it's strong. It's built very tank tough, if you will. Um, here's the antenna, the on and off switch, which is easy to get to. It protrudes. If you can see that from the side, the switch protrudes. Um, that's very nice. You can get to it, turn it on and off very easily. And uh, the quarter inch out, is a or the you know basically quarter inch in this is the part that would go into your guitar and this is a Nutric end gold tipped uh, very nice and the cable and the connector themselves also seem very robust and and strong so on the side of this unit you'll see there is a, a place for USB this is where you would charge the unit and then there's a link button so when I got this this system, I plugged it in, turned it on, and it immediately spoke with the receiver. This is the transmitter, and it immediately spoke with the receiver. Meaning, I started playing guitar, I turned on the on switch, plugged it into my amp, and it was working. However, there is a link button, and that's for getting the two to talk. So I suppose if you have several units, um, and you need them to associate one to another, this is how you do it, with that link button. Uh, and then your USB uh, charging button so that allows you to charge the unit 
so you don't even have to take the battery out, which is really nice. Now, I've had other units before where you did not have rechargeable batteries. This has the uh, nice lithium ion battery, and I believe this thing holds a charge for like 16 hours, which is absolutely amazing. It used to be you'd take a 9 volt, put it in a in a wireless unit, and you'd have it you know, good for an hour, hour and a half, something like that. So nonetheless, you've got plenty of, of uh, time to play with this Shure GLXD. It's robust. It looks like it can seriously take a licking, which is great for stage. Um, so let's take a look at the receiver now. Okay, let's take a look at the Shure GLXD receiver. So the transmitter, of course, is the part that goes on your guitar strap, and this is the receiver, uh, different from many of the receivers that you've probably seen in the past that are very bulky and have large antennas and what have you. And you can see the GLXD has, these are the actual antennas, this part of the stomp box, so it protects the, uh, the actual display, pretty, pretty smart and ergonomic. Here's the audio out into my pedal board, and this, of course, is your power. So right now, the way the display reads is it's telling us the channel and it's telling us how much juice we've got, how much battery power we have yet in the transmitter. So this is a full charge right here. It doesn't go all the way here. There's just, um, what, six or seven uh, dots or, or, or LEDs here that tell us how much power we have. And right now, I think it has 16 hours when it gets to... Um, the last three, you have four hours left. Left. The last two, you've got two hours left, and I think one LED, and you've got 30 minutes left still, which is great because this has always been the bane of us guitar players is do we have to go buy another 9-volt battery or what have you? Well, you don't have to with this. One, it's a rechargeable battery, which makes it great, so you can literally use this at home while you're practicing as well. Um, and not have to worry about going through batteries. And you don't have to replace batteries before it's time, just plug it in, computer, whatever. Um, or power supply. So you can see here, this is our, our RF signal, or it's our radio frequency signal, and if I put the guitar through it, play a little something, we saw the, the audio signal come up. So, now if we were to hit this, it also becomes our tuner. And right now I have this set on mute mode. So the actual, the actual unit, when you press it, mutes the guitar, which is great. That's what you typically want when you're tuning the guitar. And let's take a look at the tuner and how that might look on stage. So you can see the indicators, the flat and the uh, sharp indicators, tell us if we're in tune or not. I'll show you uh, in a minute here in the mode, uh, when we go to the different modes, you can actually adjust this to, uh, to do several different things, okay? So, so super convenient, now you don't need an on-stage tuner, you've got it right in this unit as well, okay? Uh, the construction is, uh, it's tank-like. So this, uh, this unit is it, it's built very heartily, okay? Um, let's take a look at the modes and just what we can do there, okay? So you see this is saying menu and needle. So when we just, when we just click this, we can see menu, and now it says needle. And so what that's saying is it's in needle mode right now, so just like your standard tuner. If we want to change that, we can change it to strobe. So strobe-like tuner. Some people prefer strobe tuners. They believe that they're more accurate. Um, so you can do that here. Um, right now it's set on mute. So that, what that means is when I step on the pedal, it mutes it and we're rocking and rolling. We're, it's quiet and we can tune our guitar, okay? Now I could set that to where it's not muted, to where it's live when I'm actually playing. And you can also set it to where 
your tuner is on at all times instead of showing the power of your transmitter instead of showing the actual channel that you're on you can just set it to where the tuner is on at all times and then you know if you want you can actually click it and mute it um, so you can do both all right so let's go back to the modes here so we're in menu we're needle and let's keep going so we've got the mute we've got it on mute mode right now this is the brightness so right now it's set on automatic it actually has a light sensor just like um, a lot of smartphones and computers do now or you can automatically whoops so it went back so if you if you don't do anything for a bit it goes back into playing mode again so um, so here's our brightness so as you can see this thing gets really bright so if you're on a a very bright stage or you're playing out during the day uh, on a stage this thing can get nice and bright uh, has three modes of brightness there or automatic okay this is for right now it's set for a normal tuning but if you're doing detuning you know half step down whole step down and so on you can you can get pretty crazy there and of course you can go up okay so that's for that's set at standard tuning and this mode here is actually going to be for uh, if you are instead of setting your tune or your tuning at 440 you know if you wanted to set it at uh, 435 or something like that you could do that so these are the last two digits we don't we don't need to have the uh, first digit here uh, but that would be tuned at 440 and if you needed to tune slightly up or something like that you could do it so if we wanted to get out of that mode, you can do that easily by just clicking back on. Now we're live again. And if I click that, click our pedal, now we're in tuning mode again. So that is the receiver in a nutshell. All right, my friends, that is the review of the Shure GLXD wireless system. I'm so glad, so excited to have it in my arsenal. Uh, the tone is impeccable sounds just like you're plugged straight into you know a high quality Megami cable or something like that and uh, but you get to roam around the stage I've even been using it here at home just to sit on the couch or sit out on the front porch while I'm plugged into my, all my gear so super cool two thumbs up from me Eric Andreas your guitar sage if you have any questions please let me know that's what I'm here for the link is below for more information about the Shure GLXD, check it out. Thanks for watching this gear review video, my friends. If I can help you with anything on guitar, please let me know whether that's gear or whether that's actually playing. I've got several hundred videos here on YouTube. Please hit subscribe. I'll get some of those videos to you. If you haven't already, go to yourguitarsage.com, sign up for the free ebook and get in on those free monthly live lessons with me. Make sure you go to Unstoppable Guitar System, get in the course for $1. It's my super course that I have over 350 high definition videos that you can't find anywhere else on the web. Check that out. I'm here to help you. Please let me know how I can help. If you have gear that you want me to review, hit me up, you know where to find me. Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, I could be found there, or hit me up here on YouTube. I'm here to help. Please spay and neuter your animals and be kind to one another. We can change this world. I'm Eric Andreas. See ya.